Someday, I'll learn. Hopefully that day has arrived. After putting an ungodly amount of money into the Kentucky Derby, I mean for me, I'm not someone who bets you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on a race, but I put more than a couple of dollars into this in the hopes of hitting big. I didn't. I never do. Well, I shouldn't say never because I did have the funny side year. I had that exact. Uh, that was pretty good. And I had funny side in the future pool, and that was good. But I didn't put a lot of money in, so I should have learned my lesson there that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I stole that line, by the way, from a friend who used to work for the New York Racing Association. No, not that guy. It's a different guy. That's a different story for a different time. The bottom line here is when I've been able to cash at a healthy profit, I've put relatively little money into a race, and it's generally not one of the marquee races. It's usually like the last race at Aqueduct in the middle of the winter. Instead, counterintuitively, I put a lot of money into the Kentucky Derby, which, of course, is the equivalent of a horsey train wreck every year. Just ask Julian Leperu and Union Rags, who got smushed coming out of the gate. He was in the four. They were in the four. The three and the five went like this. No more Union Rags to worry about in that race. Oh, he's fine. And he might come back. I'll tell you what, if he does come back, it's going to be with a new jockey. But anyway, the moral of the story is that you do not need to put tons and tons of money into a race. And in fact, in a race of that size, you're thinking, well, I'm going to try and cover as many possibilities as I can in hopes of hitting. No. I've now learned, and I've been at this game for decades, that I'm just going to stick with my proven aqueduct winter track strategies, which also play pretty well at Saratoga, and take my chances for far less money. I mean, look, it's not like I'm going broke and you know, my landlord doesn't have to worry about getting the rent on time. But there's got to be a better way, and I think now I have finally learned that lesson. All right, more on horses coming up as we get closer to the Preakness at Pimlico. Horrible place, by the way, but we'll talk more about that.